Bamboo Harvester was the American saddlebred Arabian horse that portrayed Mr. Ed on the 1961 through 1966 comedy series of the same name. Born in the Los Angeles area in 1949, the gelding was trained by Will Rogers' protege, Les Hilton. The Mr. Ed show concept resembles that of the Francis the Talking Mule movies in which an equine character talks to only one person, thus causing a variety of opportunities and frustrations. Comedian George Burns financed the pilot for Mr. Ed, which was shot at his McCatton studio in Hollywood at a cost of $70,000. The show in effect had two leads operating as a comedy team. The title role of Mr. Ed was voiced by former Western film actor Alan Lane. The role of Ed's owner, a klutzy architect named Wilbur Post, was played by Alan Young. Mr. Ed's ability to talk was never explained and rarely contemplated on the show. In the first episode, when Wilbur expresses an inability to understand the situation, Mr. Ed offers the show's only remark on the subject, don't try, it's bigger than the both of us. Several celebrity guest stars appeared as themselves during the course of the series. Mae West, Clint Eastwood, George Burns, and Zsa Zsa Gabor to name a few. The first horse that played Mr. Ed for the first unaired pilot episode was a chestnut gelding. The horse proved to be unruly and difficult to work with and was replaced with Bamboo Harvester. A second pilot episode was filmed and Bamboo Harvester remained with the series until its cancellation. Mr. Ed's stablemate, a quarter horse named Pumpkin, also served as Bamboo's stunt double for the show. Pumpkin later appeared again in the television series Green Acres. The theme song for the Mr. Ed sitcom renewed publicly 20 years after the show went off the air when Jim Brown, a preacher from South Point, Ohio, claimed in May 1986 that it contained satanic messages if heard in reverse. There are conflicting stories involving the death of Bamboo Harvester. Alan Young said that he had frequently visited Harvester in retirement. He states that the horse died inadvertently from a tranquilizer administered while he was in a stable on Spark Street in Burbank, California, where he lived with his trainer, Lester Hilton. Young believed that Hilton was out of town visiting relatives and a temporary caregiver might have seen Bamboo rolling on the ground struggling to get up. Alan Young also stated that Bamboo was a very heavy horse and he was not always strong enough to get back on his feet without struggling. He suggests that the caregiver thought the horse was in distress, administered a tranquilizer, and for unknown reasons, the horse died within hours. In Alan Young's explanation, it also claims that Bamboo's remains were cremated and scattered by Hilton in the Los Angeles area at a spot only known to him. Another story claims that Bamboo Harvester, suffering from age-related ailments, was euthanized in 1970 with no publicity and buried at Snodgrass Farm in Taliqua, Oklahoma. And then a third story claims that after Bamboo's health was failing, he suffered from arthritis and kidney problems and had to be euthanized at the age of 19. But getting back to the stable mate, Pumpkin. Pumpkin died in Oklahoma in February 1979 and was widely thought to be Bamboo Harvester. In fact, Pumpkin had posed for the still pictures of Mr. Ed used by the production company for the show's press kit. After the death of Bamboo Harvester, Pumpkin unofficially became known as Mr. Ed. Bamboo Harvester, otherwise known as Mr. Ed, 1949 to 1970. Rest in peace, Bamboo.